What's up, guys? It's the small fry here, and I said it would be coming the tutorial. So I don't really know a best the best way to do this because, well, I don't really have much, and I will be flying over here to copy it down because I don't really know it by heart because I only built it one time. But anyways, guys, let's get this on. So what you'll need is is a little bit more than what I have in my hot bar. Uh, some things um, you don't need, like the obsidian, and I'm just going to use cobblestone because, you know, it kind of fits the design. You know, you're trying to make a cobblestone wall. And also, uh, yesterday I finished the whole entire wall, so this is what it'll look like at the end. Well, without the obsidian, but that's what it'll look like. So, anyways, let's get on. So, what you'll need to do is a piggy. Please move. Okay, bye. Anyways, what you'll need to do is put, um, like this. And you're gonna space, like, one, two, and break. And then... What that's going to do for you is it's going to make it so you can have it like, hold on, no, nope, not like that, so you can have it not spill everywhere, so like that, and it'll go in. You want to place your lava right there. Boom, it's a cobblestone generator. But you want to get rid of that and that. And I guess you don't need it that close, so if you want, you can block it off. Break these. And then just have it like that. I prefer it like this because, well, you know, it's not too much work. Anyway, so what you want to do next is you want to place a piston facing this way. It doesn't matter which way. And over here, you're going to want to build something that's called a redstone clock. Actually, I'm going to have to switch this up because, well, um, it's not the easiest uh, to do right now. Ah, I don't need to do that. It's not the easiest thing to do. Because, well, you know, it's not really cooperating. Well, it is cooperating, but I have to um, have it a certain way. So it's, well, it's pretty big. So, you know, I kind of have to have it a certain way. So there we go. Much better. Should it just fit? Perfect. All right, let's try this again. Take two. <laughs> Anyway, so you want to take your piston, make sure it's facing like that. Uh, you want to have it facing the biggest way possible. Uh, uh huh. Makes sense. Anyways, so after you build that, you want to build something called a redstone clock. And if you don't really know much about redstone, you might be scratching your head. So what you, what a redstone clock is basically, it's a self-repeating thing that will just keep going so actually i need a redstone torch where would i put this i guess i'll put this in um hmm in the dirt because well you don't really need dirt anyways so what you want to do is you want to take your redstone repeater um you kind of want to have it uh, like this, like that, there, and this, and you want to place a block right there. And then, you want to take redstone dust, put it like that, connect it, and I'm going to place obsidian here so it doesn't move. But I'm going to place it right, right here so I can show you guys that it works. And then you don't want to have it this fast because that's a little too fast. So you want to have it on um, maximum at um, four ticks like that. 
make sure that they're fully spread out. And then you want to take your redstone torch, twist it down and break it. Which will then start that, and then it'll just start pushing. But, you know, it, it will keep working. You just will, you know, suggest you don't do that because also um, it's better if you have it enclosed like, well, uh, unless you have, you know, pistons already, but um, it's not the best idea to start it because, well, it's just going to keep doing that, but. We'll just break that for now. And, um, anyway, so what you want to do next is, let me fly over here to see how big it is. Uh, actually, you guys don't need all these torches and campfires. I'm using those because, um, it's in a snow place and, um, you know, it's not really the best working thing because it'll just freeze. But once you have your entire layer like this, uh, basically you're going to need all, basically all of this. And you're going to need to break these to make sure that's there. So, like, let's say you just, um, you know, do like that. Then it'll just start to refill. But if you, like, see it's going to start to refill. But anyways, we've already looked at this. We're looking at that. It might not look that much, but it's going to be something. Anyway, so you want to count how many. One, two, three, four, five. I like to do five because, well, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to fly over here. And how many is it away? It's literally one block away. As you can see, one block away from the first one. All right, so you, you want to do this. You want to count one. And go here and then you want to go one two three four five and then you want to place those like that because then that will start it to push up actually is it one more in the ground no it's not then you want to break these I made this platform so there's nothing underneath, which is uh, my bad. But anyways, I'm place it like that. Make sure you have um, land underneath, otherwise it won't work. And then what you want to do is you want to break the second layer. And um, like that. Bring back a little bit and then fill it in. So what you want to do next is you want to place these like, th nope, not like that, <laughs> like that. And then uh, you want to um, place redstone all like that, not like that. And you want to have it on this edge going out over here. Uh, not like that. <laughs> I'm messing everything up. Like that. Perfect. And it, it is um, important that you have it on this left side. Uh, because I'll show you in a minute. Because if you don't, it not really, it's not going to work much. So now, when you turn it on, it's going to do... Uh, well, I'm going to place... A obsidian right here you really only need a couple pieces of obsidian to stop it from going everywhere but then you want to do that get your redstone torch and place it down and break it then it'll start going oh yeah I got you also need some repeaters there we go no nope. oh, there we go and that's gonna keep going wait what's happening here no Hold up. This isn't supposed to be happening. Huh. Oh, 
I didn't break the piece underneath, did I? Anyway, so we'll keep towering, but well, we're gonna stop that right here. So if we take a piece of obsidian, we place it right there, then it's gonna stop and it's gonna start the next round. Like that. I actually missed a piece. So I'm just gonna do it. Uh, how many blocks tall is this? I like to um, mainly have it at maximum. So one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So it is fourteen. No, wait. So yeah, it's thirteen blocks tall. So this is how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, this is the perfect amount. Break it. It shouldn't move. So you just do that. It's done. And then I'll just start the next round. Anyways. So, um, this is the main build that I copied off of. So I'm not going to plagiarize. So, uh, again, credits to whoever made this original build, but... My only issue with it is um, that it can't stop you from getting in. If you have like a wooden or an iron pickaxe, you can just break through. And that's my only issue with it. So what I like to, so what I did is built something a little more complicated. And this is the reason why you have um, it on this end. I'm going to take your um, slab, place it like. Uh, not like that. I want to have it right there. Place it like that. And this is very important that you have it like this because if you don't have it like this, it's not going to work. So you want to place it right there. Perfect. And then when you place the redstone on top, it's going to light up. So then what you want to do is you want to, um, you're going to want to stop it because otherwise it's just going to keep going and you don't really want that right now. Oh no. Anyway, so you want it like this. Just break these for now. It'll, it'll fix later. And then you want to do that. And you want to keep going like that you kind of have to get used to the motion of it but um, trust me it's worth it for getting this big wall and then right there and fill in the rest you're gonna need a lot of pistons for this I'm just saying so be prepared put it all the way up but keep that top one there so you don't lose your layer. So like that. And then just bring it down. So you want to make sure it's 13 blocks tall. You can measure it or whatever. I don't know how. But do you. And then you just want to build up all the way. 100%. And like that until you hit it. You want to keep doing the same. Oh, messed up there. Smack that. Like that and keep going up. And this is important that you do this because otherwise your wall won't, you know, extend. So, um, yeah. But you're going to need more pistons than just these. So I just suggest watching the full video. To see how many pistons you're actually going to need and how much redstone. Because if you're doing this on survival, you might want to count this because mm -hmm. I don't have um, any counting stuff right now. So it's kind of not that easy for me. And then since you have it like that, you want to break that top layer. But, that's a, but now you can put that there. And then that basically all the plis I'm plistons, pistons that you have are done. 
So now what you want to do is you want to take this and you want to place your blocks down. This will still keep um, all the redstone going. Ah, that's the wrong thing. Here, let me show you. So, plop that down. That will still keep the redstone going. It will still keep them pushing up. So then, what you want to do is you want to take it, these and place redstone all on top. That will make it go through and start it from and start it pushing. So now uh, you want to stop it again because, well, you know, it can't be done yet. Still got to finish the build. Uh, break all this because, well, you know, obviously you have to finish the build. And once you get the build done, you can just have the two pieces of, I'll show you the two pieces of redstone that you're going to need. Because when you place it right here, there's one spot that gets missed. So what you want to do is um, place that there and then like that. But for now, you want to break those two. And uh, next, you want to take a piece of cobblestone, place it on top. Then, um, if I am correct, you should be able to power both of them. Perfect. And this will power both of them. Anyways, so now that you have that, you want to extend it all the way out, like this. You basically just want to keep doing this all the way up until you hit the tip. I mean, not tip, the top. You know, keep going up, that, up, that. And I'm just going to be doing this because... It's a little bit easier to do it like this. So, then once you reach the top, right there, and then, you know, layer, and then put your redstone down. It's all like that. And, in theory, it should power it all. So, if I do that, yep powers it and then you just want to you know keep doing the same thing at the bottom so just that that and it's important that you do this otherwise um all the pistons won't extend and then just place it all down and again i'm not sure if this works on java i only know it works on bedrock because i'm doing it right now and um, place it down like that, that, right there, there, and there. So, torch, 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 torch. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot they do that. Uh, we're gonna have to find a different source. Uh, I guess we're going to have to go every other one. And then we're going to have to get a leper. Huh. I guess we don't need this water and lava. So, I'm going to just turn that on. On. And on. And that will make them all extend. But that one, you might be thinking, David, you need that one. Well, that's what um, this one is for. Which, if, once the redstone gets on, it'll work. But, for now, I don't want to activate everything. So, I'm just going to put this down. Up. So, now, you want to place it down like this. And then, boom. Now, they're all extended. Now, you want to, um, I'm just showing you guys that to make sure that it works. And, you want to break them because you can't have them extended. Keep going. Oh, missed one. There we go. Now, this is where things start to get tricky. See, this is the reason why you have it so, um, ah, 
so you have it so it's right at the corner because you want to do that but uh it's not that simple for the other ones for the other ones you have to kind of have to keep building up so i suggest you do this all out of cobblestone because well you know you already have a cobblestone generator right here and you can just keep breaking it for more cobblestone and you see this is why you need um torches if you are living in like a snow biome or something like that because that will happen so i'm going to uh i do not need any more of those or pistons so now or lava so i'm gonna get water again uh campfires and torches so, water, torches, and campfire. Now, you don't have to do that. That only is for um, people who do live in snowy biomes, if you want to. But that's the only um, thing that you'll need for water if you live in snowy biomes. Anyways, so now... Um, Everything in David. It's a lot. How you're supposed to get that all down. Actually, I'm gonna break that and get it to climb. Anyways, so now you it's kind of complicated, but this is where we have to, you know, start going over here. So we won't since we just built this part and now we want to bring it out one two three four five six and two are down so here we go one two three uh four five uh, and, well, that's what you have to do, like that, and then, um, you just have this hooked to, hooked up to, um, that. You will need repeaters for all this, so, you know, you might want to go to the nether to get that quartz. So now, whenever we activate it, uh, like that. Uh, I'm gonna press it again. Hold on. Goes. Oh yeah. You need this. Once you do that, then you're going to do this. Oh. And why is it not working? Hmm. Huh. There we go. So now that will work for the first one, but you have all these other layers. See, what you want to do is go to this first block, up one, and two. Actually, I'm going to copy it off of here because. You know, a little more easier. So we just did the first one. You know what? I can figure it out. So, um, you're going to go over here. Another one. Actually, you're going to want to do that. No. And then, like, that. And then you want to turn it around and then bring it out like that. And kind of for everyone, you want to put one of the repeaters down because it just makes everything a tiny bit easier. So, yeah. Well, I guess, you know, I'll turn this off because it's not really being useful right now. There we go. Oh no. 
Hold on. Break that. There we go. And now it should start piling up. Oh, I broke it again. Guys, I've done it. Oh, yeah. And, um, probably suggest bringing it out a tiny bit more. Just because of the fact that, um, just because of the fact that you might need one more because it's a little bit hard. Dude, there we go. Just like that. There, 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 and there. Won't really make a difference, but trust me, it will. Right there. And then for this, you want to go one, two, uh, three, four, and then four. And then that will make it so these will wail a bit and they'll keep going. So now in theory, if I place a redstone torch down, it should go correctly. I did that wrong. <laughs> there we go. Like that. And now you do it. Alright. If I can get the block. I did not mean to do that. It's always too fast. Wish there was a way to shorten it. This is why. You have to keep it kind of far out, because otherwise stuff like this will happen. I'll be back in just a minute. There we go, I fixed it. So you want to have it kind of far out, like that. It's a really expensive build, but for a wall, it's pretty good. Oh, wait. Uh, what's happening? I break it again. How is this possible? Is it because of the water? I don't quite know. Don't know why it's breaking. You will have some uh, issues with this being stop it. There. Like that. Can lava move any faster? Hmm. Hold on. I'll try and fix this. I think I fixed it. Uh, you actually have to have a quite a bit of repeaters to make it work. Oh my gosh. You know what? We're gonna have to stop worrying about this. It's taking forever. What if we move it back another space? Because you, apparently, Can you please look pretty blue? What about now? Hold on, I'm gonna be done when I fix this. 
Okay, turns out you do not want to start a thing that pushes it up until you are done. Otherwise, it will break the whole thing. You will spend half an hour trying to figure it out. Anyways, back to the redstone that I was trying to build until it broke. Um, now, what we're going to do is, since you have it like this, I want you to take your, um, wait, I was just not different things. You do not need the sticky piston. Anyways, so what you want to do now is just place it down. And then over here, this one's a little bit different. Break that and have it over here. So like there. Like that. And now, you can bring it up. Plop that down. And then keep going. And then, this one's a little bit different because, well, you know, this one's just right there. So now, actually, you want it right here to bring up and loop it around to right here. thinking David this is unnecessary but listen I might know I might not know a lot about redstone but it's gonna work hopefully Bring it over here place another repeater so you don't lose your signal you're almost there you're nearly there and now Actually, no, you can't have it like that. Because, again, that will break the whole machine. Up. Up again. And then, like... Nope. There. So then you want to place your stone dust here, here, and then signal there. And then you just want to go... Up. Actually, you might lose your signal, so you want to go straight. Plop that right there. And go. Nope. Now you want to go up. And then turn that around. I'm doing that. Bring it over here. And then doing it like that. So now, to place it like there, there, there. One final repeater. And that's it. This looks way less complicated than this. Hold on, let me make it stop raining. Uh, weather clear. So it's not going to be, you know, raining in the video. Anyways, so I think that's it. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's actually it. So, in theory, if I, um, re help it, so it starts pushing up, it, it might bug out sometimes, so you know, you know what to do, just and that plug right there and make it refill. So once it gets to the top, it's gonna stop. And then we're just gonna go out like, I don't know, like a block and let it refill. Actually, we're not done yet. Cause we are so close to being done, but we're not done. We literally only have like one more thing to do. Well, I guess two, since, well, getting these two items. And all you have to do now is place it like that, place one like that, 
Make sure there's a hole at the bottom. That's very, very important. And then place a ladder all the way to the top. Now, keep in mind, you don't have to make it this small. Uh, of like, You don't have to make it this big or this small or how big you want it. You, it all depends up to you, but um, uh, this is a pretty big wall anyways, so I wouldn't, you know, I would just follow the tutorial and have it like this, but uh, we're just going to build it out like to here. So what we want to do is, unless you're going for it to be maximum range, you want to get obsidian because it's an unmovable block, so you know. Because you can't really get bedrock. That's not really possible unless you use a glitch. But I don't know any glitches of that. So, we are almost done. Just bring it down like that. Fill it in. We are so close to being done. Keep in mind I'm just doing this so I can show you guys that it works. Until it's over, but again, if you want to have it um, to be the maximum range, you do not have to really have a single piece of obsidian. Um, maybe like I don't know, one or two. I'm not sure. You don't have to have it, but then once you do that, you want to take your redstone, grab it right there, take your redstone. Wait for that blink to go one more time, and then you go, you break it, actually we forgot you have to have that, then you go, you break it, and then, it's out. I don't know why that didn't go. And then again, if it's bugging out like this, well it's actually not bugging. But the reason why you put those ladders there is for this reason. Because then, if you don't know it's full, um, that usually won't be like that. But if you don't know it's, if it's full or not, then you will go all the way up here. And just look. And it would um, show you. For some reason, I think I broke it too early. There we go. Hmm. Why is that not working? Oh yeah, it has to get to the other end. Hmm. I'm just gonna break that for some reason. Once it's at the top. Here, I'll speed it up for you guys. There. And it's climbing to the top. Usually this wouldn't be there because, well, in that one I have it, you know, stylish with the uh, parts on the side like that. So you can't really see it, but I still have the ladder up to see this entire thing to make sure it's all filled. And once it's filled, you again want to take your redstone dust. Well, actually, since it's this much, you're only going to do this that down and then done ah ah oh no I forgot I didn't have it at maximum there we go now I stopped it but anyways guys thank you all so much for watching please like subscribe and hit that bell if you want always because well I don't want to be too pushy but again if you want uh you know, hit all those things. And anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is my second tutorial. And I hope it works for you guys. And have a great day. Goodbye. I'm going to need a lot of redstone.